I've been trying to track you down ever since you disappeared at Toha. I figured you were off chasing after some after the Quimains. I never imagined you'd join up with them. At first it was just circumstance, but now it's different. Now I'm with them because I want to be. Spending time with them and coming into contact with Lagoos has shown me what a fool I've been. Lagoos? I never thought I would hear that word from someone who once said he was subhuman with such absolute hatred. Sounds like you've had some good experience with this happy little band. I know if anyone would understand it would be you, Captain. So you're forming your own set of values for the first time. That's good. That's very, very good. But what are you planning to do now? If you keep moving forward, you're going to face General Shaharam before long. Causing trouble for my father was never my intent. However, as a member of this army, I will face him with my shoulders straight and my head held high. So you determined to see this through? I am. So be it. Then there's nothing left to be said. Farewell. The next time we meet, it will be as enemies. Prepare yourself and get some rest. You know how important it is. Prepare yourself. Hi, can I talk to you? A few minutes ago, I, a man I'd never seen before showed up and spoke to Jill. I wasn't sure what was going on, so I went and found you. Well, what should we do? Whatever they're talking about, it sure looks serious. Jill trained the Dane army. Fighting against a countryman will be tough, no matter how professional she thinks she is. I don't care what happens, you can't let her fight against her own father. All right, Ike? Hmm, it might not be a bad idea to keep her at base camp, just while we're in Dayton. Yeah, um... I can't remember which, but I know there's a chapter you're not allowed to take Jill on, otherwise she leaves you. There is a chapter, but I can't remember which number that is. Ugh, I don't think on any number of enemies, but this snow's another story. I think my beautiful wings are icing over. That sounds like trouble. Are you going to be able to fly? Yes, of course I can fly. His wings aren't just for looks, you know. They're made of flesh and blood and feathers. It's not like I'm some animal that has to hibernate when we're wolves in. Sheesh, can't you be able to tell the difference between comic exaggeration and serious conversation? Uh, I was supposed to laugh, was I? Sorry about that. Oh my, such sincerity. This is unexpected. Looks like someone taught you manners. Uh, by the way, I've been meaning to ask, what are our chances at victory? We're still at an extreme disadvantage. Well, that's not the answer I wanted. You gotta do better than that, the Orc General. I'm here. If we lose, how am I ever gonna show my face in Phoenicius again? We're at disadvantage, but I don't intend to lose. There's a man in Dayan that I need to find, and I'll be the last thing that he sees. Yeah, well said. I wish you could repeat that to today's younger generation. There's some weaklings back home that I don't even want to call hawks. I'd love to stick them back in their eggs and start over from scratch. Y you hatch from eggs, huh? I was speaking figuratively, you know, like a metaphor. We haven't hatched from eggs for many generations now. Silly bjork, alright, I'm out of here. I gotta warm up the old wings for battle. Or well, who knows what might happen. I think the ending was a joke, but I, I had no idea it ever really happened. Uh, bird traps, go figure. And I've got Oki. Excuse me, do you have a moment? Oh, General like, what is it? It's nothing really, I just like to say hello. That's considerate. Um, your king's very generous, isn't he? And it's not just race that I'm talking about. He left us with his two retainers as well. How do we obtain to the king's generosity? I guess it's because race kept apologizing. I just thought that. Am I misinterpreting something? I don't know, but the, no, I know that the king can survive without our help. Is that true? It's pretty amazing. I've been given the title of the lord, but I still can't run this army on my own. Titanians saw and handle all the little details, and that's what keeps us from collapsing into chaos. Our king does nothing special. Everyone just does what's needed. There is no chaos. He's really trusted, isn't he? That's natural. In Lagoo society, the strongest become king. Unlike the Beor, kingship is not tied to blood, so we have no weak kings. I'm sorry, perhaps that was improper. No, I agree with you. Choosing a rule by strength instead of birth makes much more sense. When we face Begnon troops, we target the units with weak leadership ship, and eliminate them first. Beorc weapons can be very powerful, but not everyone wields them well. Since Beorc also choose generals by bloodlines, their competency is uneven, and that is a weakness of Beorc armies. As for you, General Ike, the time to prove yourself is approaching. And it's true, no matter how strong the individuals are, the strength is worthless if they're weak as a unit. An army's power comes from leadership and management. That's good to remember. Thanks. Hmm. Uh, that's the info out of the way. Now, just gonna. Let's just check what skills we've got up to this point. Vantage, Wrath, Guard, Miracle, Addict, Counter. There are some. There are some skills that work great together. For example, Vantage and Guard is a great combo. <coughs> Cause great combo. Cause you go first, and there's a chance you'll cancel your opponent's attack, so it pretty much renders them useless. Whereas. Advantage in Wrath is a good one if you've got low health, because you'll pretty much always return a counter. And Advantage in Adept, if they trigger together, is great. So yeah, there are some combos you get. 
Wrath and Resolve is one of the most well-known combos, <laughs> purely because they work so well together. Anyway, um, I think I'll do for now. Let's just save. I'm thinking I might forge a sword up, sword, but now that Mist can use the magic one, it should be fine. Let's leave base. The day and border. <laughs> Gate tree slow as usual. Yeah. So in general, there looked to be a lot of enemy soldiers ahead. Mostly Dane, but there are some crows from Kilvis as well. More than our last fight. Yeah, there's a lot, but the most troubling thing is that the King Kil Kilvis is with them. The Crow King himself is cooperating with Dane. Yeah, and compared to the other crows, the King's in a class by himself. Obviously, there's no match for our King, but anyway, you should move carefully. Entire unit under the command of King Kilvis. I think that bodes ill for us. The outcome of the battle hinges on how we deal with them. Kelvis soldiers, hmm. Those fellow bird tribe lagoons, what can you tell us about them? Please don't lump us together as carry on birds. We're not impartial to the crow. As you know, we're outmanned by the Dane troops. Is there any way to get the ravens to withdraw? That would be a tremendous help. Well, I suppose I could go meet with King Kelvis if I had to. I don't think I may speak in terms gonna make a difference though. If you like, we'll try, but don't expect anything to come of it. No matter the circumstances, I will never again speak to a crow. No matter what we decide, sitting here like this is giving the enemy more time to prepare. You're right, come on, let's get going. Moving, whatever. <laughs> right, choose units. Um, right, there is something to steal, but I can't remember if you can steal from the boss. Because you have to have higher speed, the boss has got... 20. I think it's planned that he has 20 speeds so that you can't steal from him. Because his swords are pretty handy. Let's see if there's anything else. We can probably pick up a couple of javelins. Oh, staff. Mendinus. I don't think that's worth stealing over. And he's only carrying a coin. <laughs> no, I don't think it's worth stealing anything over, so. Don't think we'll need vote for this chapter. Right. I can't remember. I know JNF works. I've never tried with Ulki, but you've got an option whether to kill Nazlo or talk to him. I'm going to go with talking because killing him doesn't really do anything. The storyline continues as normal and you don't get anything. Whereas if you speak, it gives you something. Um, yeah, I think my team's pretty good. Let's reposition him. Alright. Seeing as Kilvis is over there, we want to be as near there as possible, but you've got to watch out because we've got some blisters to deal with. So I'm going to have Leaf on the front lines so she can reach the blisters pretty much in one turn. Basin and Janaf together. Maybe have fast moving units near there. Oh, well, I've got ten. I don't use her, plus she's got no weapons now. Might bring folk back then, just in case. Or oh, could have Stefan as backup. Now oh, let's go with this. Yeah, let's go with this. Okay, save. And I guess we'll get started next part. So, I'll see you there.